Hi everyone, I am Praveen Shetty and I welcome you to this uh, video lecture. In this uh, video lecture, I am going to talk to you about the third theme in the novel and that is uh, wealth and respectability. This novel is uh, described for uh, um, the first semester BA students of uh, core course and the Mangalore University and uh, the novel is written by Jane Austen. Wealth and respectability are uh, not two separate uh, themes. They are uh, very much interconnected and uh, uh, that is interconnected in this novel also. So wealth plays a major role in our social relationship and uh, people who belong to the rich class or the elite class they are respected and uh, people who um, uh, belong to uh, the elite class uh, are uh, given a higher social position uh, but it is not just uh, wealth which uh, determines one's uh, respectability and position uh, there are other aspects too which matter so um, in this uh, uh, novel, North Anger Abbey, uh, most of the characters uh, belong to uh, landed gentry and um, um, people of this class own land and, uh, um, and uh, they do not belong to such a rich class. So the people of this gentry are uh, they try their or they try their best to uh, marry their children to uh, the members of the uh, richer class or the nobility, and that is because they want to get um, a better social position by improving their economic uh, condition. And uh, um, in this novel, uh, we also see uh, that Jane Austen shows that. Uh, a respectability is not just uh, uh, the result of the wealth so um, even uh, a gentle qualities uh, can earn you respect or uh, earn you social position um, Catherine Henry and Eleanor they represent uh, gentle manners um, and uh, uh, these characters attain social status uh, uh, through these uh, gentle qualities um, Henry Tilney, uh, he gets respect not just because he's wealthy, uh, but also because he's uh, a polite um, individual. He's very much principled and uh, uh, he's very well educated. And uh, Catherine, on the other hand, she comes from the landed gentry and uh, she earns respect and uh, friendship uh, because uh, of her caring nature, uh, because uh, integrity in her character and also because she is honest and uh, uh, we have uh, Henry's uh, sister Eleanor uh, Tilney uh, who is a very good-natured uh, um, character and on the other hand we have uh, the Thorpes um, Isabella Thorpe and uh, John Thorpe and uh, they appear very rude along with uh, General Tilney. Uh, so they represent arrogance and hypocrisy. Um, so all these characters are obsessed with uh, money or uh, material possessions. Uh, they try to get social status um, by, uh, um, by manipulating, by trying to uh, do something uh, um, which is uh, not acceptable. Uh, then Isabella also uh, treats uh, Catherine badly in the initial uh, stages of the novel. Uh, she uh, wants to marry um, a, a person belonging to a rich class. She thinks that uh, um, James is rich and uh, um, she makes friendship with Catherine uh, to, uh, to get connected uh, with James. But uh, because of her uh, character, um, her engagement with James breaks and General Tilney um, also treats Catherine badly uh, and the reason is that uh, he understands her uh, real social position so earlier he thought that uh, she 
was a lady belonging belonging to a rich class but once he realizes that uh, uh, her social position is uh, uh, lower than his uh, he treats her badly so Catherine Henry and Eleanor um, they earn respect uh, uh, from their uh, qualities uh, it is not the wealth that determines their uh, um, their uh, uh, respectability on the other hand uh, Thorpes and uh, General Tilney try uh, um, try to earn respect uh, by uh, um, by getting married to people of uh, uh, um, richer class I hope this video is of uh, some help for you uh, thank you for watching